Do you believe in God? We have to be careful about defining our terms. Right. Okay. Uh, the, Einstein said there are at least two kinds of God. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful when you define God. First is the personal God. Yes. The God that you pray to. Yes. The God that smites the Philistines. Uh, the God that gives you that Christmas bicycle that you've always wanted and you pray and pray to get that Christmas bicycle. Einstein did not believe in a personal God. I mean, why would the God that created the universe care what kind of uh, toy that you got for Christmas, right? So uh, Einstein thought that, well, God would have more important things to think about. Like what? Like the structure of the universe itself. He believed in the God of Spinoza, the God of beauty, harmony, the God of simplicity. Uh, the universe could have been random. The universe could have been chaotic. It could have been messy. For example, when you do string theory, you realize that most universes that you come up with are unstable. The proton decays. Atoms don't exist. You have an ocean of neutrinos and electrons in most of these universes. So you begin to realize that our universe is really special because it is stable. It is beautiful, gorgeous, creates atoms, while most of the other universes are unstable disintegrate to a bunch of a, a mist of subatomic particles. Now, Galileo was asked these questions, and Galileo's answer was very simple. That is, what is the purpose of science? The purpose of, purpose of science is to determine how the heavens go. What is the purpose of religion? The purpose of religion is to determine how to go to heaven. So in other words, science is about natural law. While well, religion is about ethics, about how to be a good person, how to obey uh, your, your elders, and how to be a nice person. Now, the problem occurs when people who are scientific pontificate about ethics, or when religious people pontificate about natural law. That's when we get into trouble. But you see, if you keep them separate, there's really no trouble at all. So Einstein didn't see any particular conflict because, of course, all of us yearn to understand the nature of things and the nature of the world around us. He thought that he was like a, a little boy entering a library for the first time. And this library was huge, gigantic. All the knowledge of the universe contained in this library. And all he could do was open the volume one, page one, and read the first paragraph. While well, before him was this ocean of knowledge, beauty, simplicity, elegance. And that's how Einstein conceived of things. Not a personal God that re smites the Philistines, kills your enemies, and rewards your friends. But a God that created this gigantic library, which is beautiful, gorgeous, and it didn't have to be that way. So the long-winded way of answering, do you believe in God? So basically the answer is, you do not believe in a personal God, but possibly how Einstein... The God of Einstein. God right. of Einstein. Right. Okay.